Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at um, just a problem that I was presented with um, by someone who needed help and they wanted to determine the count of a certain type of item in a list. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. Here we have, or this person had a list, in our case we have 46 um, items here, labels basically, and some have numbers at the end, some don't. And the request was, how can I get a count of the number of items that do not have numbers in them? Well, the two benefits that we had in our scenario is that, number one, the numbers were always at the end of the label, and number two, we had the benefit of being able to use a helper column. So, I'm going to go in here and put a helper column just so we have that. And now we're going to walk through how we're going to build the formula to determine how we're going to find out what has numbers and what doesn't. Well, since the numbers are always at the end, what I thought I would do is take a look and see what the last character is. So we're going to use the equals right formula. And we take, you can see the equals right, you have the text or whatever it is there. And then what the number of characters, I'm going to just pick one character and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to copy that down. And that gives us what the last character in that string is. Now notice this was text, so this generates text also. So because they're justified to the left, Excel is recognizing those as text, not as numbers. So we need to now convert this to a number, and we can do that in a few different ways. You can put a double negative in front of it. You can multiply it times one. You can divide it by one. We're going to use the double negative approach. So I'm just going to insert a double negative there, hit enter, and notice how it's now justified to the right. We'll copy that down. And notice in certain areas we get errors because any place that that wasn't a number, that the last character was, in fact, a character or a number or a letter, uh, it gives us a value error. So that says if we can replace those with a blank and then do count blank, that'll give us the number of labels that did not have a number at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this in if error and say if it's, this is an error, we're going to just put a blank there, hit enter. I still get the three there, but now if I copy that down, notice any place that it was a letter at the end, I get a blank. Down here, these two, I get blanks. A couple more down here and down here. Any place that there was a letter at the end gives us a blank. So now up in here, we can do equal count blank, go over to our column, and close that off and now we get 7. We do a count blank G2 to G47 and that tells us that we have 7 blanks because there were 7 that did not have a number at the end as determined by the if error and using the right formula. I'm sure there's other ways to do this and I'd love to hear from any of you if you could come up with a way without using a helper column in this. Uh, you can always drop me a note at mremple at excelbytes.com and I'd love to hear from you. But thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com. And thanks a lot, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.